Hello, welcome to the Angular Dependency Injection Tutorial. In this video, we are going to talk about how injector hierarchy and resolution work. In last video, we already discussed about what is a dependency injection and what exactly means the injector is. So in Angular, there are two kinds of hierarchy we can find out. One is module injector hierarchy and another is an element injector hierarchy and both has their some different characteristics. So it should be clear where exactly our services should be provided in order to work it layer perfectly. So let's talk about mo module injector hierarchy first. So if we provided services in non-lazy model that is ng modules or in like injectable that is a provided in property of the services that falls into the root injector. These things only applicable for the non-lazy modules. So that means it is a eagerly loaded modules. So if you are thinking that you provided the services in one module and that will not be available into the another module, that will be the wrong concept. So all the services provided in any modules, if it is eagerly loaded, that traverses that tree and it will be fall into the root injector. So that means all uh, this services object will be shared throughout the whole application. So this is only applicable for the eagerly loaded model. We will talk about the lazy model in the like next 30 minutes. So this is not only top level injector available. There is one more guy which is like platform module. So it get created when the application it bootstrap and it provides some of the uh, uh, services like uh, DOM related or maybe like a sanitization related. There can be the multi, multi more services available there. There is also one more on the top order of the that is a null injector. So responsibility of null injector really simple. It tried to throw the error if like services try to find out the uh, available objects here. So at the top, if the services is not find in any injector, it will just throw the null null injector error that is like no provided found. So now let's talk about what is a child in uh, injector for the root. So if services uh, provided into the lazy module that will create the separate child injector for each module. So that means if you have the like multiple lazy modules and if you provide the services in that so it will create the separate instance for of that services so which is not shared in that. So let's talk about the element injector now. Now if we provided the services in component or in a directory with the providers uh, key actually it creates the element injector which is a, a really separate injector. So the hierarchy will look like as like an element structure. So if you have the child element it will create the separate child injector for the uh, component and directory. That will be applied for the grandchild injector as well. And if you try to uh, inject the service at any level it just start like looking to the current and then start traversing to the top. So let's take the sum of the cases how the services uh, dependency is resolved now. So let's say this is a first case where we are injecting we are injecting the service in the grandchild. Let's say this is our logger service which is inject, injected in the constructor uh, uh, in the component that is a grandchild one but it is provided into the root, uh, root component. So let's say it provided into the component with the help of providers uh, array. So now how this uh, service resolution uh, will work actually. So let's see it will start looking into the providers array in the grandchild component but we haven't provided it that means it will not find it here so it will start traversing to the top level so it goes to the child component but uh, we are also not providing any services here so it goes to the top of that that is a root component and in root component we are like provided the logger service so this root component will say yes man I have these services available with me so let's take the object of that and th that will be available to the grandchild component so this is how like uh, uh, a child to the parent communication goes so it goes to the top level order where it can find the service but let's talk about the next case now. Let's say we are providing the same service actually uh, in the grandchild component but uh, that is sorry that is injected in the grandchild component but we did not provide any, any component here. Uh, we also did not provide that service into root injector or platform it's not possible and null injector nothing is there. So that means we will see how that tree is traversed now. 
so first thing it will start with the grandchild component where it is injected so it look for does we have the provider IRA here and is that service provided but no it start goes to the top level so it land into the child component but there is no provider available so it goes to the root component so root component say hey man I don't have anything available here so it come back into the element injector with the like a no dependency found so at that time like it is a grandchild uh, component say yeah uh, look for in which module it has been declared so let's say there is no lazy module here if there was a lazy module it will start from the lazy module but there is no lazy module here in in this case so it will check the like a there will be the uh, root injector available so it start traversing and looking for the that service providers in the root injector but there is no available service so it goes to the platform module and finally it will be the null injector um, uh, where it try to find out the service but now the responsibility of null injector is just to throw the error so it throw that error and say that no provider for the logger service so this is how uh, actually resolution of the dependency works in the angular and this is how the hierarchy uh, look like in the angular actually so it will be bit clear now how the structure look and where we should provide our service in order to get the expected result so if you haven't subscribed the channel this is a good time to subscribe it because we are also going to talk about more like uh, uh, about the dependency injection in details in the next upcoming videos so i will say like have a good day and happy coding thank you for watching